All right, welcome back to the channel. Dan here from North Tesla. So today we are talking about ass. Now, is ass a swear? Uh, like, is YouTube gonna demonetize this video? Because I say ass too much? Let's see how many times I can say ass too much. Or am I gonna have to bleep out every time I say ass? We are talking about actual Smart Summit. So yeah, Tesla released this about, about a month and a half ago. And sorry, I haven't made a video for it yet, but you know, I've been using it every day and I love it. It's amazing and it has worked flawlessly. It hasn't let me down once. Uh, you know, I hear stories about, uh, you know, it's hitting curves or it's crashing into things or some nonsense. The only time it hasn't worked for me once it was once it was raining and the cameras were obscured, so it didn't work. Uh, that is the only time. Other time, it's flawless. So what I want to show you is exactly how well it works. Uh, we're going to start off here. I'm going to Dollarama. Just going to do a basic, you know, just go to the front of the store and that's it. Show you how well it works. And then we're going to put it through its paces. I'm going to try to come up with a few different locations, different scenarios. Uh, to really show how well it performs. All right, so we're gonna start off with a quick and easy one. Basically just come to the front of the store. You'll see there a quick takeoff. Now the video is sped up 1.75 times and did a great job. My only nitpicking is that right here, you can see this from watching the drone footage that the car, uh, the rear tire just goes over that little yellow line just a tad. Uh, but nowhere near a car, so I'm not too concerned about it. All right, so as I said, I'm going to definitely give it a challenge. I'm going to put the car into different scenarios, different locations to really give a sense of how good it does because I find this ass is so good. Uh, so anyways, we are here at my son's hockey arena, and the challenge here is if you look behind me up here, it's a hill. Uh, so let's see how it does. So perfect time to use Smart Summons when you don't want to carry your hockey gear all the way down the hill. Uh, so we're going to take off here. Now this portion is actually a uh, public road, but still able to navigate it. And it's a, a circular driveway, but knows which direction to go in. And hill, no problem, doesn't uh, affect it whatsoever. And here we are at the front door, so perfect. All right, so we're here at Walmart. Now the challenge here is, it's gonna be a little bit busier with hopefully a few more pedestrians. And the challenge here is going to be, I'm gonna park nose in. So the car is gonna have to back up and then go. So let's see how that does. All right, so we're gonna throw it into some reversing. Uh, so here it goes, reversing out of that spot. Uh, then we're going to go to forward. It does take a little time to transition over, but uh, here we are. All right, so off we go. Now moving down to the front of the store. Uh, there's a couple of curbs to navigate, but uh, as you can see from the overhead, it does it's pretty far away from the curb, so no issues there. Uh, we're going to then turn that corner, and you can see here a speed bump coming up. And I wasn't sure if it was going to go over, or just kind of stay where it is, because it kind of does come to a stop here. Uh, but then kind of inches his way over the speed bump and comes to a stop to pick me up. All right, so let's try to make it more difficult. I'm going to park over here. I'm going to walk over to that, see that long goes over there and wait there. Now it's going to have to come over here and then cross that lane. So let's see how it does here. All right, so it's going to leave its spot here. Now it's going to make a left and it's going to come to this crosswalk here. Uh, no pedestrians, so it's going to slow down and just stop briefly and make its way. Uh, car then stops right at the stop sign, not necessarily the line on the ground, but definitely the stop sign on the right. There's no traffic, so it's just going to keep going forward. Um, relatively easy. Now it's going to come to another crosswalk. It's going to slow down again, making sure there's no pedestrians. Uh, and then keep making its way over to the store where I am. Another speed bump. Uh, so it's slowed down again, as you can see, and it comes on the other side of that speed bump and picks me up. So awesome again. So I just did four summons and really couldn't ask for any better. The only thing was, wasn't many pedestrians, wasn't much traffic. So I've come to a bit of a busier plaza to hopefully get that sort of environment. All right. Uh, so we're going to start off here. I'm at the Sherwin Williams back here. I'm going to show you exactly what it is. All right. So the trick with this location is it's, it's got multiple options to come see me. So I go left or right. looks like it's going to go left here. And then you could go in that first uh, spot there, but there'd be more turns. So I think it's using GPS uh, to kind of figure out the most efficient way out of here. Uh, so this is the route. So it's going to slow down here for that stop sign. And, uh, unlike that last car that just went by. Uh, so it's going to come to a stop and then, uh, inch a little forward, a little more. And then that curb, a little close to that curb, uh, but didn't hit it or anything like that. Uh, and then it's going to pull over to the right to pick me up. So good job again. All right. I just want to take a second and let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Magback. And it's a good thing they're sponsoring this video because they have a rim case, which basically protects your rims against curb rash. 
So it's the odd chance that Smart Summon actually does damage to your wheels, which I promise it won't, but if it does, uh, and you have rim case on your wheels, not only will your original wheel be protected, but they're all sections. So if you get damage to one section, you just have to replace that one little section and you're back in business. Uh, so if you want to protect your wheels, get some rim case by Magback. Head over to magback.com. They also have tons of other accessories. They have awesome phone cases. I love their phone cases. Everything for iPhone as well as Android, all kinds of phones. They also have screen protectors for not only your phone, but as well as your Tesla. Uh, they also have phone mounts uh, for the Model 3, Y, S, X, as well as Cybertruck. Even if you don't have a Tesla, there's a phone mount for you. Uh, so head over to magbot.com. Tons of awesome accessories. And use promo code NORANTESLA15 for 15% off. All right, so back to the video. All right, I'm really trying to get some pedestrians and some uh, car traffic. As I'm standing in front of the store right now waiting for it, there's tons of people walking around. Uh, so off the car goes inching its way to the lane and no issues with that turn a pedestrian here not really an issue so it doesn't really slow down for it uh, nice model three on the left there and here i'm at the front of the store and again uh so unfortunately just no pedestrians all right so when i first got here there was tons of people walking around and then when i did the summon no one uh so we are going to finally go up to the boss level we're going to costco All right, we are at the Madden Status Costco. You can see from the overhead, it is a busy place. Uh, we're gonna get going and you immediately see all the pedestrians walking you know, in the parking lot here. So you can see the woman on the left, the uh, car is definitely is kind of slowing down for her and it's gonna kind of follow her at her speed. Uh, then you see the guys on the left, they're taking a picture. I left the windows down so you can see that there's actually no uh, person driving. So there's taking pictures. So again, just taking a, Pause there for that person that came out of the right. And again, just slowing down, going at that woman's pace. Uh, doesn't want to pass her. She's now going to come in front of the car. Now I'm on the other side, uh, just by that blue car there. So it's again, tons of pedestrians. It's going to make a left turn. Uh, no traffic, no pedestrians. So it's good to go. And here we are. All right, Costco round two. Let's try to make this very difficult. Now there's a radius of where you can summon the car, but as long as you start the summon uh, inside the radius, you can walk out. Uh, so car waits there for that white SUV to pull out uh, and then it's gonna follow it. And uh, you know, we got pedestrians on the side, very cautious, very cautious approach with all the, the car in front as well as the pedestrians. Now you'll see these guys with the shopping cart on the left. I uh, can see the car kind of move just over to the right just a bit. Uh, now it's going to come to the crosswalk over here. It's going to come to a stop at the white line. Uh, I can see this key in front of me. I'm not too sure what he's doing. Summon is definitely much smoother than that guy. So as soon as he's out of the way, uh, makes the right turn. Then we're going to make a left turn right into the eye of the beast. All these shopping carts around. Now you can see here the guy with the black jacket. The car stopped well before he was ever near the road, so he saw him coming a mile away, very safe. All right, so you guys want to see ass, and I showed you ass, and I tried. I tried very hard. I had different locations, different setups, and I even came out to Costco. Costco! Uh, and I even did it twice and nailed it both times. The last one, my drone was about to fall through this guy. Uh, thankfully, it didn't, uh, so it did capture some amazing uh, footage. Uh, I'm glad you guys like it. I hope you guys like it. Anyways, uh, maybe next time, if leave in the comments if you want to see more of this. Maybe I will try it at night. Uh, you know, weather's uh, going to be inclement uh, soon with the snow, so maybe I'll try it in the snow. Uh, one thing was with the old Smart Summon is that it really slowed down to a crawl in colder weathers. Uh, so we're going to see if that happens. Uh, basically, before that, it was unusable in cold weather, so hopefully that's not the case. But I will definitely try it out and let you guys know. Uh, so anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss videos, which I release about every week or so. Tons of awesome tests of content, so be sure to subscribe. Anyways, uh, we'll catch you next week. In the meantime, drive safe and drive electric.